horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Well, uh, Christmas came in a post office box this week. Um, and I've got all kinds of cool stuff to put in the bus. And let me show you what, what I got here. So, the, check this out. This is kind of cool. This is a tabletop. And uh, I think I said it was maple, maple. I think it's actually ash. Whatever. It's a wooden tabletop. Real wood. And this is going to go um, in the bus. This is going to be like my kitchen table. and. Kind of place to hang out in the evening and uh, put my computer or whatever. And then over here is this pedestal um, that raises up and down for the table. So you unscrew this and then see it goes up and down. And so I can have the table up uh, normally and then I can put it down if I want to make a bed, which is yet to be done, but eventually that's what that'll be. Now the only thing with installing this I actually haven't put it in the bus to see if that's low enough. I, I don't think this is low enough, quite enough. Um, and actually what it wants to do, see, to go lower is, is not a problem if you cut a hole in the bottom of your floor. So I may have to cut a hole in the bus uh, floor. And then the other thing is these guys finally showed up. They were lost in the mail for about a week or so. I think the seller just forgot to, uh, to send them. I sent them an email like, hey man. Where are they? And then they started moving. So they're here now. So uh, and the only bummer is that the bolts that go with this, one of them is missing the bolts. I hate that. But I'm sure I probably have one. I probably have one so fit. And if I don't, uh, I'll go get some in town. So hopefully I'm going to get all this done this weekend. I don't know. I've got a bunch of other stuff going on as well. This and that and the other thing. But uh, stay tuned. We'll, we'll find out. And in here, I'm going to be finishing up the demo work in the, the ceiling of the bathroom. All this insulation is going to come out of here. I'll be reusing it. but And then finish knocking out these corners here. Alright, look at that. Don't you wish you could do that to your bathroom ceiling? Really? Seriously? Think of the freedom. Think of the feeling of exhilaration. You really got to be in control of your life to do something like this, don't you? Hey, and to that person that said it proves I'm crazy, I heard that. So there's another look at the leak. You can see that this is obviously where the tree hit it. There's a big hole in the roof. And the, here the asphalt shingles are kind of coming down. And... Uh, the problem, I couldn't find the leak at first because there was a big piece of plastic up here. And so the water was just kind of puddling. It was coming out at this vent here. And so I thought it was uh, bad flashing. And uh, at the time, I didn't really see anything wrong with the flashing, but I just replaced it anyway. Easy enough to do that. They're cheap enough. And so I thought I'd fixed it, but it started leaking again. So you may be saying to yourself, yes, but what does this have to do with a bus? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Here's the answer right here. This is a piece of the bus that I cut out for the electrical, I think, or something like that. Anyway, whatever. And seeing as how I'm a pack rat, for some reason I saved this scrap of metal. But now it's the perfect fit to go up there. And then I'm going to screw this guy in. And of course, being sure to use screws that are small enough that they won't stick through the top. With my daily dose of demolition damage behind me, it was back to the table. 
Well, I hope you're as proud of me as I am of myself because not only did I remember to not drill my pilot holes all the way through the top of the table and into the floor, not that I've ever done anything like that, but I also got screws that won't come out the top either. And what I did here was uh, on my drill bit, I put a piece of tape so that the drill bit would stop here before it went all the way through the table into the floor and ruined my day. Well, here's how this is coming along. So I got the uh, tabletop attached. I marked where the holes are going to go. And then I drew a line across each way where they all meet in the center there is where I'm going to drill the hole for the shaft. Using my hole saw. This might be a good time to mention the obvious never ever drill a hole through the floor of a vehicle without knowing what it is that's underneath there because if the gas tank is under there and you drill a hole in the gas tank kaboomy so um, just be aware of that. There's my hole in the floor. I ran into a little issue because there was a cross member right here so I cut through the this part but there was a cross member in the way which is why I have one of these. This thing, um, I use this thing like once or twice a year or something like that, but man, when you need one of these, this is good too. I use that more, but I mean this thing, the cutoff saw. When you need one of those, there's nothing else that'll do the job. It would have taken, I don't know, hours. I would have had to, yeah. So anyway, um, now the table barely goes down far enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of silicon around that hole and mount this guy on there and we'll see what it looks like. Well there's a picture of it all installed and in place and uh, like I say it comes up and down and it'll go down right about to this level and maybe even a little further than I need. I haven't figured out at some point I'm going to make this into a where you can make it into a bed and I haven't figured out exactly how to do that yet. Now, I'm kind of tempted to buy RB dinette set, but they're so damned expensive. But anyway, see these fold down like this, and this one folds down also. And so I'm thinking, and then so this would go lower, maybe make some sort of plywood thing or something that'll, that'll slip in there. Anyway, that's for another day. Maybe do that though before festival season, because I'm going to have multiple people in here at the country fair. So, I was up uh, last night, late, drinking beer and cruising eBay, which for me is a deadly combination. Anyway, I ordered this guy here to go on the other side where those captain's chairs are. And it looks like it'll exactly fit in that spot. Um, I don't know, it's going to... This is kind of dark compared with the, the table I just installed, which is kind of light. So, hopefully, it won't look too weird. But... Uh, looking weird is not necessarily the end of the world though is it so um not sure maybe uh that'll probably show up by next week maybe i'll put that in next well it's getting close to beer 30 at this part of the world so i think that's probably a good time to wrap it up for this week um so we had the uh, the top countries of last week were uh the united states netherlands canada italy and france and that's awesome. Hey, thanks you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I've been to all those places except for uh, Italy, and that is ab way high on my list. Next time I go to Europe, absolutely going to do Italy. I appreciate it. I hope you all are doing well wherever you are, and I hope to see you next week. Take care.